Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. I'm holding this microphone and um, it will not amplify my voice for you, but um, we are filming this so that you can watch it again and again on SCTV. So thank you so much for being here to um, christen and to welcome this amazing new space to the learners at Breckenridge Elementary. We're really proud of the work that all of these students and their teachers and their parents and all the people that make Breckenridge Elementary the school that it is. The work has already been fabulous and wonderful and great and now you have this amazing new space to also learn in. We started, we embarked on this um, journey, oh gosh, now three years ago, yeah, about three years ago, talking about what do we want our spaces to look like for our learners. We know that when kids are coming to school each and every year, they're starting to maybe not look different, but they're starting to learn differently. And what we have to do is make sure that we have spaces within our schools and within our um, communities that reflect the kind of learning we want them to do. We want them to be thinkers, we want them to be problem solvers, we want them to be able to collaborate, to critically think about what do they want to solve. There are a lot of problems in the world, and we know that you are the ones that are going to help us solve those problems. So we're really proud of this great work. I'm Carrie Bueller, the proud superintendent of Summit School District, and we're here with some folks that are going to help us to um, kick off this wonderful space so that you can continue learning in here today. I want to welcome everybody that's here. We have some design advisory group members that were in on the design from the beginning. Um, so if you were one of those folks wave your hand a little bit I know I see a couple people okay don't they're so shy <laughs> they have done some wonderful work it's a lot of thinking about um, outside yourself and outside your comfort zone to think about what a space can um, and should be for um, the learners of the 21st and century and beyond uh, we also have user group members so all of the staff and parents that are here you were also part of all of this hard work in in making it what it is today um, I want to welcome we have our um, our group of architects, designers, and NV5, which is our owner's, re owner's rep, as well as Evans Chafee. Where are Evans Chafee folks? There they are in the back, you know, being shy. Um, these are, this is the team that has brought this all together. We know that architects and designers do the, the, the big, wonderful, pretty pictures and, you know, all those drawings and things. Um, NV5 is our owner's rep. They help to keep it all straight for us. And then um, the people that ex execute the work on the ground are our um, contractors, and that is Evans Chafee. So, um, and Tab. Tab also helped us. Yes, there's Tab. Not Tab, but <laughs> representative from Tab. So all of those people helped to make this happen and make this dream come true. So thank you to everyone. Welcome, welcome. We have some community members um, here today, and I'll introduce them as we go along the line. But first, I'm going to introduce Hope Gut Gutierrez, and he's part of Wold um, Architects, and he's going to talk a little bit about how this all came to be. So Kerry's talking about um, things being different today. Uh, I have to say that as, uh, as architects and designers, we really like it when the district has a vision before even we are hired. Uh, that was the case with uh, the Summit School District. Um, there's, there was a document, and maybe some of you know of Vision 2020. Back in 2015, uh, educators got together and were thinking about, okay, what kids need to learn today. Um, so we call it Vision, vision 2020. Uh, so having that was very, very helpful, just a district guideline, as a district guideline. But these spaces really came together as we started to talk to the community, to the very, you know, very uh, diverse communities in Summit County. Um, and I'm gonna test you all, I think, um, because the space is very different than what it used to be. So who remembers where there was a presentation space, where you had a community meeting, teacher meeting, where was it? Point to that. <laughs> there you go. There used to be a little um, screen back there. I think it was maybe a projector or a smart board. Um, now, here it is. This main presentation area, but it's not the only presentation area. There's one in the breakout room, one in the maker space. Uh, the maker space, where was the maker space before? Right here. <laughs> it's now back in there. Um, the ramp. Okay, so what's different about the ramp? It curves, it comes down. Uh, it was not accessible 
technically speaking, uh, for somebody in a wheelchair. So now we're making sure that uh, you know if somebody is in a wheelchair can come down all the way. Um, bookshelves. Where were the bookshelves before? Right there, from this wall all the way back there. Right now they're really distributed throughout the space. Uh, where were the windows to the outside? <laughs> Free question. Was there, there, was, window? there was no windows to the outside before. Now uh, you have windows connecting to the hallway around us. You have, win you have a window now, a new window in the makerspace that lets the um, daylight in in the morning. I hear at 10 a.m. is when that <laughs> ray of sun comes in. Um, breakout areas. Uh, they're there now, but you didn't have any before, right? Um, and finally, uh, the view to the mountains. There was none, and we came up with something. But you, it's behind us. <laughs> so, um, with that, I guess all I'm, I'm going to say is you know, congratulations to the Bright community. This is uh, hopefully your vision, and your educators, I know, are embracing it already, and you're going to make the best of it. So, thanks for the honor of um, um, letting us be your designer. Thank you so much, Hope. Um, I'd also like to welcome two of our school board members, Bonnie Ward and Sue Wilcox. And Bonnie and Sue, behind the scenes, um, are doing a lot of this work in terms of thinking about, is our vision the right one for our community? Are we making sure that we're taking good care of our people, our students, our community? Um, and so they have a lot of the work that you see, that you don't see, that's behind the scenes. But I want to thank Bonnie and Sue because they are great leaders, president and vice president of our school board. So thank Thank you for being here. Also, before I turn it over to our one of our county commissioners, Stan Gibbs, I'd like to thank the police officers in um, the room. One of the other things that we did at all of our buildings was to um, upgrade our security vestibules in the front of the schools, our cameras, our doors, all of those things. And it's our police officers that um, help us to make sure that our protocols are working. They also respond when we need their help. Um, and they come to lunch every once in a while, too. So we really appreciate all of you appreciate all of you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, I'm going to turn this over to Dan Gibbs, and he has a few words to say about this great space. Hey, and I want to give a shout out to the firefighters, too, that are oh, here. So let's give them a round of applause, too, because they show up as well. And um, I'm, uh, I'm Dan Gibbs, and I really appreciate the opportunity to come here. Um, you know, the school district has done an amazing job over the summer um, to work on, you know, everything from safety enhancements to expansions in many of the facilities, and i um, really excited to be here at this location because next year my little daughter Grace is going to come to school here. Um, so it's, it's really exciting to see, um, you know, everything that's been done here. Great to see so many friends in the room, a lot of my neighbors. Um, this is really amazing neighborhood school. And, um, and I appreciate, I see a lot of the teachers here too. Thank you so much for everything you do for the kids. For, yeah, thank you. Um, really setting that, that foundation for, you know, students' educational success and life success for forever. So really appreciate it. Both my parents were um, career uh, public school teachers and I know how hard um, you put into uh, every day, um, uh, even in the summer when you're planning and thinking about um, the school year to come. So this is very exciting, and thanks again. No, I just, um, I guess this is so gratifying. I, everything that I wanted to say has been said, but to see uh, our students here and enjoying the space and uh, so excited to be in such a great school, and um, it's very gratifying to finally be here after three years of yes. planning. So thank, thank you for all your support and all you've done to get us here today. <laughs> so now I'd like to introduce Christian Bray. She is your proud principal of Breckenridge Elementary, and she's going to introduce some students as well, but we'll let her speak um, briefly. Come on, front and center. All right, and then we'll get to the really good stuff, which is cutting the ribbon, and then there's some snacks. 
Um, so welcome, and just seeing how full this room is with district staff and our parents and our community and teachers um, and our students. We have about 50 kids in choir. Um, this is really what Breckel is about. Um, so I want to start obviously by thanking our contractors and construction workers and engineers. And um, it's just been an incredible journey. Um, they really took us through the design thinking process, like our kids go through, um, and it was really important for us as a community to capture the essence of Breckenridge um, and I really feel like we did that um, even the wood is from Hester's which is local beetle kill wood um, and so there's so many details in this space that really um, are just really quintessential about the Breck community. Um, obviously thanking our school board and district leadership, they really allowed autonomy and the schools to really drive the design um, that worked for them and for the vision for their school. And I really admire and appreciate that. Um, also wanna thank our teachers and our community. Um, they've really embraced this space. It's been, it's been an incredible journey. We have a new sort of invigoration of energy with this space. Um, so it's been a great space start. Um, I do have a couple of examples of what our kiddos have been able to do already so far in this new space. Um, fifth graders have been able to work on prototypes related to solving a real problem in their life concerning natural resources. Um, and that's what two of our fifth graders will quickly show. Fourth grade students have been creating green screen, green screen projects and wax museum backgrounds um, for Colorado Heroes, which they're presenting today. Third grade students have worked in groups to prototype an invention to solve extreme weather conditions and problems. Um, second grade students have done hands-on STEM activities directly related to their math units. First grade students were creating 3D maps of Breckenridge um, aligned with their geography standards. And our kindergarten students have been learning about how this space is really used um, in our school. So it's already alive. Um, it's an amazing space. So I do have two kids here, um, Lexi Stace and Auden Pierpont. So if you'll come up. And they're just quickly going to share a little bit about how they've engaged in their learning in this space. Hi, I'm Lexi Stace and I'm a fifth grader here. I'm very excited about the maker space. I cannot wait to learn and have fun in the space for the rest of the year. The thing I am most excited about is are the outlets. I like how they can drag down and you can use them easily. I also like all the materials that you can use for projects. Right now, I'm working on something called Shark Tank in fifth grade. It is where you design your own invention and it needs to help save natural resources. The makerspace is a great help in creating my invention. I am a little sad that I only get to enjoy the awesome space for only one year, <laughs> but I cannot wait to enjoy it for the rest of the year. The new library is very cool as well. I think one of my favorite parks, parts is all of the different seating choices. My favorite part is definitely the separate room where you can plug your computer into the TV and you can work with your group easily. Overall, this new media center is amazing. Thank you. Good job, Hi, my name's Auden. I'm a fifth grader here, and I am really excited to use the new, the new makerspace and library. Um, it's going to be a really great workplace um, for uh, schoolwork and building things, of course. And um, I think uh, that it, it really is a great space, but there is one problem. I'm only going to be able to use it for one year. Um, I uh, really like how many outlets there are and everything and how, uh, how that'll really help with their, when there's a lot of students that need to plug something in. And um, I also like how, how flexible it is, how many different seating choices there are, all the little cubby holes and all of that cool stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> Good job. <clears throat> um, so again, thank you so much. I know it's an early morning. Thank you for taking the time to show your support, show your pride in Breckel. So thanks for coming. All right, so I have good news for these fifth grade students. Wait till you see the middle school. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are gonna get to the fun stuff. We are gonna officially cut this ribbon and officially um, memorialize the fact that we have this amazing new space at Breckel. Christian, you can do the honors. All right, you guys ready? Should we do a drum roll? Drum roll. Drum roll. Drum roll. Sure. Just not the bow. <laughs> Yay!
Thank you so much for coming. Um, I think at this time, you know, we'd love people to stay around for a little bit. There's some snacks and tour and um, ask questions and just enjoy. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. That was very nice. Nice job. Very impressive.